hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with valorant game on your computer now there are multiple steps so at the end of each step try to launch the game still you're facing the problem then move on to the next step now the first step is to do a clean installation of your graphic card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website so you can go ahead and type in nvidia drivers in google search then go to nvidia website and select your graphic card from the list. If you're not sure about which graphic card you have, make a right click on the start menu, then click on device manager, expand display adapter. And here you can see the graphic card. So make sure that you select your graphic card from the list. And then click on search, click on download. Now, once you click on download, it will download the exe file. Once the download is complete, you will see the screen. Run the exe file first, then you will see the screen. Agree to the terms and then select the custom option and then click on next and put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. So if this is unchecked, put a check over here, then click on next and then it will install the your graphic card driver and then you can restart your computer and then try to launch the game. In case if you have AMD graphic card, go to this link. In case if you have Intel, you can use this link. So copy this link and then open this link in a browser download this application and then it will go ahead and scan your computer launch the launch intel driver and support assistant it will scan your computer and then you will see download or install option so click on download all if there are any pending update it will let you know and then download and install the necessary driver and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to update windows 10 for that go to the start menu then click on settings go to update and security then click on check for update and once the update update is installed restart your computer and then try to launch the game the next step is to restore nvidia and amd settings so go to the desktop make a right click on the desktop then click on nvidia control panel go to manage 3d settings then click on restore then click on yes and then click on apply on the bottom right here you can see the apply option click on apply and once this is done try to launch the game once again in case if you have amd graphic card then you can go ahead and follow this step now laptop users with dual graphic card so if your computer has a dual graphic card like in mine i have dual graphic card so Make sure that your game is running on a dedicated graphic card. For that, you can again open NVIDIA control panel. Make a right click on the desktop, then select NVIDIA control panel. Go to manage 3D settings. Click on program settings. Then click on add. Select the game exe file from the list. And then click on add selected program. If you don't see the game exe file over here, then you can click on browse and go to the game installation folder and then add the game exe file then click on add selected program and once the game is added over here over here you can see the prefed graphics processor click on this down arrow and select high performance nvidia processor and then click on apply and once this is done you can go ahead and launch the game once again and that should go ahead and fix the problem now you can go ahead and try these graphics settings in the game so the list is provided in the video description so this will go ahead and improve the performance so launch the game first now press the escape key once you launch the game then go to video and then you can go ahead and select window full screen or window mode and make sure that you select the right resolution from here so you can select the right resolution first of all check which resolution you have right now so go to system launch windows 10 settings and then go to system and here you can see the display display resolution is 1920 into 1080 which is recommended so this is the right resolution so you can go ahead and select the right resolution from here so i've selected 1920 to 1080 and then go ahead and try these settings so for go to graphics quality and then you can go ahead and try these settings the list is provided in the video description so here you can see multi-threaded rendering is off 
so you can go ahead and select off so go ahead and select all these settings and then you can go ahead and save the settings and then you can go ahead and try to relaunch the game and that should go ahead and fix the problem now the next step is to close all the overlay and overclocking application which is running on the computer so if you have any overlay apps such as I have the discord running over here so you can go ahead and close discord make sure that you close the discord from here so make a right click and then click on quit discord and also close if the GE force experience is open so close GE force experience and if you have any overclocking app I have MSI afterburner running so close this also make sure that you go ahead and close river tuner so make a right click and then click on close so make sure that you close all the overlay and overclocking apps on your computer and also make sure that you close all the background application which is running on the computer so make sure that when you're playing the game only the game is running so open windows 10 settings so go to the start menu then click on settings in the search box type in background and select background apps and if this is on go ahead and turn this off now the next step is to perform clean boot to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then open system configuration go to the services tab then put a check on box which says hide all microsoft services then click on disable all so in your case disable will be highlighted so click on disable all then click on apply then click on ok and then you will see the restart option so restart the computer and then try to launch the game also allow your game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus running on your computer so if you have a vast bit defender not on mcafee so in case if you have any third party antivirus just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program and in case still you are facing the problem you can go ahead and disable your antivirus while playing the game and once you are done playing the game you can always enable your antivirus program and in case if you are using windows security then you can go to start menu then click on settings then click on update and security then click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down and here you can see ransomware protection click on manage ransomware protection and then if control folder access is on you can go ahead and disable it and once you are done playing the game you can always enable control folder access the next step is to run the game as an administrator for that you can go to the game installation folder select the game exe file then make a right click on the game exe file then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on option which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply then click on ok and then try to launch the game and also make sure that you set the high priority in task manager for the game so for that you can go ahead and launch the game first now once you launch the game open task manager so make a right click on the taskbar then click on task manager now here you can see the exe file of the game select the game exe file then make a right click on the game exe file and then click on go to details and now over here you can see the valorant win64 shipping.exe make a right click and then click on set priority and then select high and then change priority click on it and then you can go ahead and try to th play the game and that should go ahead and fix the problem now in case nothing is working then you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game to uninstall you can go to the start menu then click on settings go to apps scroll down and find the game so once you find the game click on it then click on uninstall then click on uninstall and after the uninstall restart your computer and then you can go ahead and go to the website and then download and install the game once again and then you can go ahead and start playing the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to fix the performance on the on your computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel